not staring at a computer screen all day and it like when I'm engaged with the material I'm using my hands and my mind simultaneously and I'm not really thinking about anything else when I'm doing that. My name is Izzy Souza. I am a senior fine arts major and I'm a ceramic artist and I like to do screen printing as well and sometimes I combine the two of them and do screen printing on clay. I started doing clay when I was in kindergarten and that was like an after school program and then I continued to do it um, like throughout elementary school and I learned how to wheel throw at the art center in my town. When I was in high school I was really close to my ceramics teacher and that kind of made me want to go to school for it and a lot of people were like, oh, you're crazy, like you're going to Syracuse to be a ceramics major, but I, like my dream is to have a store and like be able to sell my own work in my store. Um, I'm from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, so it's like a huge artist community and that's had a huge influence on me. I've like been surrounded by that kind of environment my whole life. It's just kind of been something that I've grown up like surrounded by and I want to be part of it, so. I'm from a very like, quiet place, so I spend a lot of time outside, and obviously clay is dirt, and um, everyone in my family besides myself is a gardener, so I love like botanical um, illustrations, and my, I have a lot of gardens around my house, so um, I have to say a lot of it comes from that. The world is so fast, like everyone is basing their decisions off of like efficiency and speed and technology and like this is kind of like my thing that allows me to step away from all of that. And I feel like it it gives you an idea of like where your materials come from and like I'm not staring at a computer screen all day and it like when I'm engaged with the material I'm using my hands and my mind simultaneously and I'm not really thinking about anything else when I'm doing that and I feel like Oftentimes, we rely on technology so much that this is like my break from it. Like, I can slow down and like appreciate what I'm doing, and not be like thinking about everything else. That's the part I like about it is that it is like old school, like, it's always been this thing you do with your hands and the material, and it's very hands on, and that's what I like about it. It's a challenge to me to think about doing it just strictly being a, a potter for a living. Um, that's not really something that I want to go for after I graduate. Like I, this is something I love to do, but I have so many other interests as well. Like I love fashion and um, like I would love to own a business and include other artists work in that business. So this is something that, it's just part of kind of the big picture of what I'm interested in. This sweatshirt I made, and I would like to make more shirts with my own design on them. I, and I did a little bit of metal smithing too. I've taken some jewelry classes, I love that. Um, so I'm kind of overwhelmed in a sense with like all these things I love to do equally. Um, it's just I've been doing ceramics the longest. So it's, yeah, it's stuck with me. Um, and I, there's so much to learn in ceramics, and I think that's part of the reason why I've stuck with it so long, is because you can't really get bored. There's just so much to know between like the technology, the chemistry, the even just like the process and the function aspects of it. Um, so there's just a lot to learn in ceramics, so that's kind of what has like kept me going. So it's just like, I, like, I've grown up surrounded by these, like, hands-on creative activities, and I feel like I, I didn't really ever second-guess it. And I chose Syracuse because they had a certain, if I wanted to go to a university that had, like, many options besides art. I didn't want to go to an exclusive art school. So this allowed me to be a studio artist, but also be a business minor and have two equally strong programs. I didn't want to have to kind of sacrifice one for the other. Um, so I feel like I'm really lucky to have that school that is really good in the business school and the art school. 
it's a lot of work, but I love it.